Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 27th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Tarantula Nebula from Superbit. So what do we see here? Well, this is a part of the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a nearby satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way. It's about 160,000 light years away, and it is really one of the largest star forming regions within our whole local group of galaxies. So not just within the Large Magellanic Cloud or within areas around our Milky Way, but anywhere in our local group of several dozen galaxies. This is the most intense region of star star formation that we see, which would dwarf anything we see in the nearby Orion Nebula within our own galaxy. Now it's known as the Tarantula Nebula for its kind of shape going out there with perhaps a bunch of legs going out. And this was taken during a, from a super bit, which is the super pressure balloon imaging telescope, which is a half meter telescope uh, it is now up near the edge of space. So now up at the very upper reaches of the atmosphere. Now what do we mean by that? Well, our atmosphere doesn't have a distinct end to it. Some things have a distinct solid surface to them, but our atmosphere just gets thinner and thinner as you go further up. So there isn't actually any distinct area where you can say this is the end of the atmosphere and this is the beginning of space. We sometimes call some at certain different air at certainly different distances from Earth's surface, but it really can vary and the Earth's atmosphere can also vary when the sun is more active. The atmosphere can expand a little bit and actually pull satellites in low lying orbits back down to Earth by and causing increased drag on them increased friction due to contact with particles within Earth's atmosphere. So things up at the edge there don't always stay for very long, although most satellites, especially things like communication satellites, are in extremely high orbits and would never come close to coming back down because of something like this. Now, we study this as really one of the, again, one of those most intense regions of star formation that we see. So this image taken from again up at the very edges uh, of our atmosphere upper regions of the atmosphere again able to get better images than you would be able to get from the ground you're not looking through all of that distorting atmosphere. Now of course it isn't as prominent as things like Hubble Space Telescope images or the new images from James Webb Space Telescope. Of course this is also a much smaller telescope. But again, the more telescopes up to view give us more understanding of objects like this. And in fact, smaller telescopes sometimes are able to give us a wider field of view and picture a complete object, whereas a very big, large telescope can only see a tiny portion of it at a time. So it really depends on the type of telescope and what you are trying to study out there in space. So that was our picture of the day for April 27th of 2023. It was titled the Tarantula Nebula from Superbit. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be Alpha Camel Leopard. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.